yet another Agfa camera today and I'm going to look at the Eisler 1 which was introduced in 1955 after the Eisler, uh, I, Eisler and I think I've talked a few weeks ago about an Eisler 2 so I was very excited when I on the car brute sell someone who I quite often buy from one day I was there a couple of weeks ago and said oh I've got a couple of cameras that you might be interested in and here was this one here. Now folding cameras were all the thing after the war because it gave you a good compact camera but you still got your 70mm 80mm from the lens to the back of the film but they were looking a bit old-fashioned so a few manufacturers came up with the idea of a spring-loaded tube that came out like so. So you've got quite a th moderately thin camera like so. Remember Agva are mainly manufacturers of film but um, by selling more cameras you hopefully get people to use them and buy film and this is a moderately simple camera aimed at the holiday at the basic market however we do have a focusing lens so the quality might be okay um, it's interesting to see that it's marked in both feet and meter so this camera is definitely for export to American markets to English markets as well as European markets. What I find slightly fascinating as well is we've got a B and M on the side which is normal but then for the shut um, aperture we actually have a sun which gives you a yellow filter. Remember back in 1955 colour film was expensive and black and white was still very popular. Someone I know from that time once said to me do you realise that one exposure was equivalent to, to one black and white exposure was equivalent to a pint of beer and a colour exposure would have been equivalent to two pints of beer. So we've got a yellow filter so that when we use black and white film it gets the sky far more dramatic and then we've got a setting for cloud and a setting for sun so we've got a landscape so we've got three settings there we've got a flash and that is actually it it's um if we open up the camera and check I haven't got a film in really nice design I think here of how you get the spools in and out we've got a little lever here sometimes it can be quite difficult on 120 cameras but here it's nice and simple simple set here and then can't get it in but there we go this camera as you can see is incredibly clean we've got a metal door covered with over a plastic chassis which is interesting that's plastic and that's plastic um, nice token um, advertising the film load there close here wine on here and there we have it let's see how I got on when I actually took it out into the film this first photograph of Dorchester is quite clear, it's into the light which isn't ideal but it's absolutely fine as a photo and um, yes a typical into the light shot so tones could be a little bit better. Um, moving on of course this photo has the light gloriously shining upon it so it does work a lot better. Um, I don't know why I didn't tilt it. Um, I normally do in post, but I didn't. Um, again, this photograph works absolutely fine. We've got nice tonal range. I'm using the yellow filter here, so that sky has been darkened slightly. No, oh, I think it's an acceptable photograph. This camera proves to be a very workable camera. There's a mark on the right hand side there, but again, the image is sharp clear I think I took a second version of this 
chart on Salisbury Fields. Yes, here we are. This is more nicely framed here. And again, as you can see, this medium format camera, although it's incredibly basic, it can produce some good shots. The shutter speed claims to be, I think, a hundredth of a second. I'm not sure if it is, but here we have the um, War Memorial in Dorchester. Again, the image is absolutely fine. Um, the camera is so light, as I said, it's a majority of made of plastic and it does give you that slight vintage look, I think, um, which sometimes you actually want. Um, I've been impressed by all the isolers I've used and they might not be the most high tech camera in the world, but if you want something with a bit of fun and to do medium format in on, why not try an Eisler? Thank you for watching. There's the camera, as you can see, a nice, simple, simple design, um, very 1950s. Um, they're not easy to get hold of, but if you do get hold of one, they are fun. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.